Feast your eyes on the Black Widow. Feast your eyes on the Black Widow 501. Everything you've heard about the Mako Sand Spider 490 is true. This is considered by those in the know to be the best two-stroke big bore power band of any motorcycle ever made. Honda actually copied the port timing on this bike right here for the now famous CR500. A lot of what they did was copied from Mako on this actual motor right here. This thing's absolutely insane. Uh, super, super rare piece. This is the only all black uh, Black Widow graphics package you'll ever see. It's a custom graphics package done in-house by none other, than, none other than my highly talented and beautiful girlfriend, Christy Steiger. A friend of ours, Marty, who's a Marine, retired Marine helicopter pilot, actually, last time he came up here, if you remember, he had a Humvee with four or five CR500s on the back of it. We bought all, was it five CR500s? CR I don't know. Three CRs and a Okay, three CRs and a KX500. He's a big time into the big board as well. His latest, efficient, his latest obsession has been with the Makos. And last March, when I was coming back from Daytona, he called me and told me he had a collection of Makos. He had two Sand Spiders, this Black Widow that he had uh, done a full frame off of, and that 490 Sand Spider over there. This bike is a, f a complete frame up mechanical restoration. The Engine cases were split, the crank was rebuilt, new crank bearings, crank seals. The, the entire engine, every seal, every gasket, the piston, the rings, the whole top end, uh, the carburetor, the exhaust, the, the intake, everything is brand new with three heat cycles and then maybe 15 minutes of ride time around here. So it's perfectly broken in, ready to take to the, the line and pull a massive holy. It pulls like a freight train. Uh, I'd like to run this back to back with a CR500 and see which one would win in the drag race. I know it would be really close, but for this vintage, for for 83, this one definitely takes the cake much better than an 83 Honda CR480 for sure. Just a fantastic piece. I guess I'll start at the back of the bike this time. We got a brand new Hoosier tire and tube, brand new chain of sprockets. The swing arm's been repainted black. The shock's been refinished. It's got a brand new rear fender. Brand new side panels with carbon fiber uh, base graphic with the Steiger 501 kit number 40, all-time kit number 40 that she's done on this bike. It's numeralized on the side here. You can see the 40. See, new number plate on this side here. You can see it's got the original factory Olin shock on there. The gas tank's a brand new gas tank. The handlebars are brand new. The grips are brand new. The uh, Magura lever on this side is new along with the compression release. The, the um, kill button's new. The front number plate has a carbon fiber finish on it also with the Steiger graphics on top of that with a new front fender. The upside down forks are probably one of the biggest mods on the bike that bring it into the, the, the modern age. If you look at the 490 over there, that's got the old school Mako style forks. These are an upside down fork set that you would find on a newer Mako M-Star and or a KTM. So the triple clamps and forks are much better in the front brake also is much better than what you'd find on an 83. Uh, the original gold rims are intact. The frame rails on the bike are, this side right here does is in mint condition, no dents. Uh, little fuel there. Oops, let me shut the gas off. Cardinal mistake, never leave the gas on, on a big bore two stroke. The uh, frame rail on the other side over here, look in the pictures, it'll be a full photo shoot. You'll see that this thing is in excellent condition. The foot, original factory foot pegs, all the original cycle parts, the, the um, brake lever, the shifter, the foot pegs, the kicker, are all in mint condition. You haven't mentioned a key upgrade, and yeah, that's the, the Air Striker key in. Yeah, pr probably, probably one of the nicest upgrades on the bike is the brand new 2021 Kia and Air Striker. We buy these uh, three, four, five at a time. We keep them in stock at all times, so it's a huge upgrade on uh, a vintage classic like this from the Bing carb, which were hard to jet. These things just bolt on set the jetting and you're good to go but it starts easy and pulls like a freight train in addition to the front caliper and rotor the master cylinder is a more modern kit too so the whole front ends off of a, a much more modern better handling motorcycle so if you're looking for a bike to take to the dunes or you want to ride some vintage bike uh, races or if you want to put this on display it is an absolute head turner uh, it's a 490 sand spider board up board out marty had it board out so uh that's why we uh, came up with a 501 on the uh, graphics because it's it's a board 490. So, kick-ass piece. Um, 
Mako had conical hubs, as you can see. The, the Mako made those hubs. They kind of set the standard at the time. Very cool piece. Yeah, the start procedure on these is really easy and definitely predictable. You never get them kicking back or anything like that. Guys, I wish the lighting was a little bit better, but study the photo shoot. You can see it's got a brand new gas tank, brand new plastics everywhere, the new front end. The motor is brand new from the crank up. It has also uh, has a brand new electronic ignition. I forgot to mention that. The ignition's brand new. The crank's brand new. The clutch is brand new. The carburetor's brand new. Air filter carburetor, whole top end of the motor is new. It has a, a custom uh, billet aluminum case saver by MDR or excuse me, by MOR, I'm sorry, the same company that makes the custom exhaust system that's brand new also with the custom matching aluminum baffle. Just a kick-ass, world-class piece here, guys. Uh, it's Guys, it's it's 12 days before Christmas here, and this is the only Black Widowmaker 501 that's anywhere on the planet today. It's the only one uh, of its kind. Very few sand spiders are left. Certainly not many available that are for sale super rare piece so if you're looking for an exclusive christmas gift for yourself the gift that'll keep on giving look no further this is a world-class piece if you look here on the steering head it has the original factory um badge on there with the serial number and frame number and the date of manufacture right on there so yep this is uh, the real deal guys Marty did an awesome job on this bike. Now, this was a, a no expense spared build that Marty did for himself. I'm not sure what his reasoning was behind selling the collection of Makos that he sold to us. I think, did we buy five Makos off him this time? Two 490s? Five more, yeah. There's five or six Makos. Uh, two 490s and any Mako you've seen in the last, if you're wondering where the Makos came from, well, they all came from Marty, a half a dozen of them. This one is uh, really a unique piece and it hauls ass. So. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. We can ship this anywhere in the world. We can ship it to the UK, uh, ship it overseas. A lot of people ask that question. Hopefully, it'll stay in the United States because I know there weren't many sand spiders, and certainly this is the only Black Widow 501 out there up for grabs. This is a, It runs and rides and brakes and everything, clutches, transmission, everything. It looks as you'd expect a brand-new custom-built bike. So good luck bidding on it. Bid high and bid often. Once this one gets away, there's not another one. Thanks for watching. God bless America. An obscene amount of money has been invested in this thing. Very rarely do you find these for sale and certainly not crank up complete rebuilds like this with a full cosmetic makeover. Um, if you could find someone to do this kind of a restoration on a bike like this, you'd easily drop eight to 10 grand in parts and labor easily. So this is, a, this is an investment quality, world-class piece right here for sure.